Hey there guys, Buddy here. So today we're going to be taking a closer look at river profiles. Now this is a super important concept because remember it's going to discuss the different courses of a river in which your fluvial landforms will form. Now just to refresh your memory, fluvial landforms will be things like your meanders, your oxbow lakes, your waterfalls and also your rapids, right? So this is what a typical course of river will look like. And we know that a river is going to flow from your high ground to your low ground and that's because of gravity. Now we can see in the diagram that your river is going to start in the mountain, right? And that's going to be known as the source of the river. So basically it's the start of the river. Now the same river is then going to flow all the way down to the river mouth, which is usually around your sea level, right? And this is going to be known as your base level. Now the base level is going to be the lowest level to which a river can flow. So a river profile is going to show us the shape and the characteristics of a river just from different perspectives. Right, and there's going to be two main types of river profiles. The first being your cross profile or a transverse profile, and your second being your longitudinal profile. Now let's break down each one and let's see what each one shows us and what you can see in them. So first let's look at our cross profile. So your cross profile is basically going to be a cut through or a cross section of a river at a very specific point in its course. And this profile is going to help us to see three things. The first being the width of the river channel. Now width is basically going to be how wide the river is. So it's from one bank to the other bank, right? Your depth is basically going to be how deep your river is. So it's from your water level all the way down to your riverbed. And we're going to see the shape. So if we take a look all the way on the left, that's going to represent your upper course. And can you see how that's going to be a V-shaped valley? Now that means that there's going to be steep sides. And because it's located in your upper course, it means that your river is going to be very shallow. Can you see how shallow that water level actually is? And you can have a very narrow channel. Then as we get to the center, we get to your middle course. Now in the middle course, can you see how the valley is going to become wider? Can you see how it's going to become a U shape, right? That means that in the middle course, your river channel is going to get deeper, meaning the water level is going to get higher and it's going to get much wider. And as we get all the way to the right, which is your lower course, that's going to be quite a broad valley. Can you see how deep and wide that river channel actually is? And that's obviously where you're going to find your floodplains and your levees. Now, as we get to your longitudinal profile, this is going to show us a side view or a profile view of the river, obviously from its source to its mouth. Now, we're going to be able to see two things in this view. First, we're going to be able to see the gradient. Remember, gradient is how steep a slope actually is. And we're going to see the length of the river. Now take a quick look at the lines that I actually drew. Can you see how steep it's going to be in your upper course? And then take a look at your lower course. Can you see how gentle that slope is going to be? Now in this view, we're also going to be able to see the river's energy. Now if we take a look at the upper course, because the slope is going to be so steep, the river is going to have a high energy, right? And if your river is going to have high energy, that means that erosion is also going to take place. So in the upper course, we can have a steep gradient. And if we have a steep gradient, it means that vertical erosion is going to take place, right? And we're also going to find features like your waterfalls and your rapids. Now, remember, erosion is going to be the removal of whether it's rocks, whether it's soil, things like that. And once we get to the middle course, we're going to see that the gradient is going to be a bit more gentle, right? So that means that you're no longer going to have vertical erosion you can have lateral erosion. And in this middle course, you're going to find your meanders, right? Your meanders are going to begin to form. And once we get to our lower course, we can see how gentle that gradient actually is. And that's where you're going to find your wide floodplains, right? Deposition is going to take place. Remember, deposition is when your sand or rocks are going to be laid down. And that's going to then lead to features like deltas. So basically, to sum it up, a longitudinal profile is going to show the side view of a river's journey, right? Obviously from its source to its mouth. Whereas a cross profile is just going to show a slice across the river at a very specific point, And that's going to help you to visualize obviously the shape of the river and obviously your valley as well. Now let's take a quick look at the characteristics and the landforms that are going to be found in each course of the river, right? Your upper, middle and lower course. Because what if they give you an image of a certain course? and then proceed to ask you questions based on that specific course. That's why it's important for us to know the various characteristics and landforms that are going to be found in that course. Now, your upper course is going to be found near the source of the river, and that's going to be usually in your mountains, right? And that's going to have a very steep gradient, meaning it's going to have a steep slope, 
your river is going to have a small volume of water and that also means that your river is going to flow very quickly. Remember, it's going to be a turbulent flow. That means that's going to have a rough, quick flow, right? And because your river is going to have so much of energy, it's going to have vertical erosion. So vertical erosion is going to take place. Now in the upper course, we're going to have our waterfalls, which is going to be a sudden drop in the gradient. And we're also going to find rapids. And remember, you're also going to have your gorges because remember when a waterfall is going to retreat upstream, that's going to lead to a gorge. Now, if you're taking a look at your middle course, we can see that that's going to occur between the upper and the lower course. Your river is going to be flowing through your gentle slopes. So in the middle course, your gradient is going to be less steep, right? Your valley is going to have more of a, a U shape as compared to a V shape in the uh, upper course. Now, because in the middle course, your river is going to have more water and your water is going to flow more smoothly, it means that the flow is going to be less turbulent. Remember, it's going to be more laminar. It's going to be a lot more gentle and smoother than your upper course. And in this course, erosion is going to happen in both your vertical and your lateral, right? You're going to have both vertical erosion and your lateral erosion. Your river channel is going to be much wider and it's going to be much deeper. Now, in your middle course, you're also going to find your meanders. Now, remember, a meander is basically going to be a bend in a river that's going to um, basically be formed because of erosion on the outer banks and deposition on the inner banks. We will actually be discussing that in a future video. Now, in terms of your lower course, that's going to be found near the mouth of the river, right? Either when it meets a lake or the ocean. And in this course, right, the lower course, it's going to have a very gentle and almost flat gradient. And that means that the river is going to have the greatest amount of volume in this course. Your water is going to flow slowly and it's going to flow smoothly. That means that it's going to have a very laminar flow. And instead of erosion taking place, your main process that's going to happen at this course is going to be deposition, right? That's when all your sediments are going to be laid down. And because your channel is going to be so wide and deep, it means that floodplains, levees and deltas, also oxbow lakes, are all going to take place in this lower course. So here's a nice simple summary table that you are most welcome to take a screenshot of and keep in your gallery. So when you are actually studying, just refer to this table and it's going to make your studying process so much quicker and easier. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it this far to the end of the video. Remember, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a like. If you want more videos like this, then please subscribe. So in the next video, most likely you will be starting your fluvial landforms. I think first we should cover um, all the landforms that are formed by erosion. So those will be your um, waterfalls, your rapids, uh, things like that. So remember, stay cool, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.